Yo, check it. What up? This is your boy JMJ. Just coming back from a 5K run. Got me a nice cool beverage right here, all right? Today I'm going to be talking about some secondary running tips from my first running tips, teaching you how to open your stride up to make your run faster, make your run time faster, all right? But um, I experienced this Sunday and also today, okay? So these are running tips, don'ts, all right? <laughs> With some tips and then some don'ts in there, all right? The first tip is, uh, you know, Definitely make sure you have some nice, comfortable running shoes. That's just number one, because you can't be out here running in some heavy sneakers and think you're gonna get a good run in, because you're gonna be tearing up your, your feet and your shins, and you know, you're just gonna have sore feet at the end of your run, all right? So another tip is um, when you're running and you're getting tired, you know, I suggest, you know, you stop. Don't try to run slow, because when you try to run slower, you know, you're gonna be running heavy. And if you hear yourself stomping, you know, while you're running, then that's not a good sign because it's gonna start wearing and tearing on your knees, okay, and your shins, all right? So a good run, you know, once you get used to running, you know, you gotta run like heel to toe, you know? When you run, you, you run like that. So you get that smooth um, flow as you like, you know, try and, you know, opening up your stride running, all right, like that. But if you're coming down flat, 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 flapping like that you're definitely looking for future knee problems all right and they say that you can also build inner water in your knees you know from like running incorrectly and also running with leg weights on you know i have my leg weights on when i work out but i don't rarely run in them i used to run in them but after i learned that then i stopped running in my leg weights all right and these right here you might think I'm joking around, but you can take it as a joke because I'm going to incorporate a joke in there somewhere. But if you're coming out running, all right, in your nice polo shirt and your, your polo shorts, and you know you're going to go out for a walk, not so much as far as a run, but a walk. Because I ran my, my 5K, and there's a track down there that I do a loop around and come back. And people are always out there walking, which is fine, you know, guys, girls, women, men, old, young, wh whatever. But if you have deodorant on, that's fine, you know, because you can smell deodorant. But when you come out there with full-blown cologne on, and today someone had on perfume, you know, you know they wasn't out just walking around because they had their sweat gear on or whatever. So this is the, the, the bad thing about that, because you're out there and you're sweating, okay? <laughs> and then that sweat, it's going to mix with that cologne, and that's not a good smell for the people that's coming up behind you. I witnessed this firsthand Sunday and today. It's just not good at all. That's not a good smell because it messes up my breathing. It really messed up my breathing. I had to roll my head down, and the wind was blowing, so that was good because the sun wasn't out that much, and the wind was blowing, and then, bow, I just got a, a, a gust of that, you know? and cologne and sweat I, I don't I, you know and it looked like he might have some icy hot on too or bengay or whatever and that smell just smacking you in the face like that it smelled like i don't know sweat and i don't know bengay and butt i guess yeah you could call it bengay and butt because it smelled like his uh, the cologne and then the sweat mixed in oh I, it was just terrible man all right, so <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there, you know. Hopefully, we're not none of those people out there that's trying to, like, impress people, you know, by having cologne on and running gear, and then you're sweating, and you go try to talk to somebody, and you're smelling bad. You can still talk to them, don't get me wrong, because somebody might want some exercise or running tips or whatever like that. But, um, again, that's just not a good look. All right, JMJ for running tips and some don'ts in there, all right? And um, the, last, the last thing is, when you feel yourself running forward too, you know, cause it's like you're getting tired and you're running forward like on a lean to, you know, again, stop, walk, and then, you know, get your rest because you're gonna be hurting your back cause you're running forward and all your weight is leaning forward. And also you're putting that pressure again on your feet and on your shins. And like I said, that's just gonna prevent future running problems for yourself. All right, so that's gonna be it. JMJ, <laughs> running tips, don'ts, stay in action, active workouts. And I check you out my next joint. See ya. <laughs>